what's up what's new what is happening out there youtube if you're looking for a way to stand out on your live streaming platform in a crowded category and you want to do something a little bit different then today i've got a cool idea that you can use either to augment your stream or to completely revamp it introducing the old-fashioned this Stylus's change is designed to make you look like a media star from back in the 1950s in a world where we are racing towards great and grand new technologies looking like you are extremely retro against all the glitz and glamour and colors and pixels and everything going on in the modern day gaming setting could make you look really cool it's definitely going to make you stand out against everybody else doing the exact same monitor mounted webcam uh, sitting in their bedroom. What's up? What's new? What is happening out there, YouTube? Before we get into the particulars of how I accomplished this today, my name is Aaron, aka Feldy, and I'm a streamer over on Twitch. You can find a link to my Twitch stream below. I like to handle topics uh, helping uh, helping existing streamers and potential streamers to grow and set them on the right path. There is a ton of things that you can do and a ton of mistakes that you can make that can really adjust how you grow and your odds of success. Today, we're going to tackle one of those, which is making you stand out on Twitch with making your camera look very different than everybody else. A disclaimer before we get into the particulars of this. This should not be the be all end all of your strategy to grow. A proper strategy for growth incorporates a large variety of factors on such as making yourself known within a community, making yourself stand out within a community, getting yourself on multiple platforms to grow your brand and trying to have an actual plan of what you're looking to accomplish. This is one piece of that puzzle. If all you do is depend upon this, you won't see a ton of growth, but it will still help you stand out if this is all you do. All right, so here is how we so here's how I accomplish this black and white look. So the first thing that you are going to want to do is go to your scene collections. Take your Take the scene that you are used to working with, and I highly recommend doing this step, which is to duplicate that scene. Call it whatever your scene name is, black and white, old fashioned, however you wish to have that, and so on. Then once you've successfully done that, navigate to that scene. This is going to let you keep the settings within all of the webcam settings that we are setting here through all of your different scenes without having to make any additional changes. It's also going to let you set, uh, go back to your existing normal way of looking without having to go and fiddle around with too many with any settings just by going and navigating to the other scene to your original scene collection. So once you have done that, what you're going to do is you're going to find your webcam source that you like, in my case, the Logitech C920. You are going to uh, right click on it, go to filters. Then you're going to hit the plus button under effect filters. You're going to add yourself color correction. Uh, make sure that uh, it has it visible that you are using color collection. And then you can see a variety of sliders here. Your sliders are all going to be set at the defaults. Adjust them to uh, the sliders that you see indicated on the screen right now. You may have to adjust them a little bit in either direction, depending upon the lighting of your room and other particular things within your environment, but they should be relatively close to what I have here. A particular note is that we have saturation down as low as it can go, which is what actually achieves the black and white look. The other sliders that we've adjusted there are just to try to make the blacks look a little bit blacker, the grays look a little bit more prominent, and the whites, um, and just make everything look a little bit more noticeable and striking on your stream rather than being sort of a dull look you really bring out your blacks and your whites and your grays and there you have it if you want to make it super simple to switch back and forth between these for example if this one is 
a feature rather than a the primary way that you stream. Uh, the simple way to do that would be to just go to your scene collection and select whatever you have your black and white one is. If you want to make this even easier and you own yourself a stream deck, here is a super, super simple way of accomplishing this. All right, so I have accomplished things two different way. Uh, so I've accomplished things two different ways. The first that I have done here is to just create a normal scene, a normal scene change here. So I dragged a scene over into uh, scene over into here, which I've set as my normal color, which uh, in my what I've named my uh, final stream build. That just by pressing that button, I'll go there, and then I have gone and found my. Uh, within the stream build black and white collection. And I've set it to the appropriately same placed video so that I can just press that button and go from full screen color to full screen black and white. I've also gone and set myself up a multi-action, which you can do by going to stream deck, put in a, drag a multi-action in here, which will bring up a variety of lists. A variety of things that you can drag and drop into this spot. For me, I've done something super simple. I've just gone for my full screen color within my regular scene. I've added a short delay after I press it, and then I am in my black and white stream. I would all, uh, to reverse it, I would literally just do uh, take this, duplicate it over, and switch the position of these things. Better the short delay just so that I can uh, be saying something while I press the button and then have it transition. And there you have it. You've got yourself some content that is going to make you stand out on Twitch and make everyone remember you. You are the person who streams in black and white. Or you have got yourself a cool alternate segment that you can do where you can tra uh, press a button and transition over into black and white for some sort of back in my day, back in patch 1.0.2.9, things were so much better. We didn't have any of those rocket cars. We didn't have any of those planeswalkers. We didn't have any of those crazy gems. It was just good old fashioned, whatever game you happen to be playing at this time. Man, kids these days, they are spoiled. Man. I wish for back in the old days. Now get off my lawn, you kids! Alright everybody, I hope this has been interesting. Please let me know if you decide to use that. Uh, please let me know in the comments below how you guys choose to adapt this, and if you have found it a useful aspect of your... Uh, of your brand. I'd be incredibly cool to see all the different ways people can make use of this cool idea. And there are a bunch of different ways that you could branch off to it. And I would love to hear how you guys have gone and embraced this and made this your own. Alternately, you guys can join my Discord and let me know on there, link below in the comments, or come into my stream and tell me about how you found it there. Again, link below. You can find me streaming on twitch.tv from Sundays through to Wednesdays. Wednesdays, I stream under the name Feldy. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys there. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button to this video and well, we'll see you in the next video.